The three key findings, for, for me, the, the first one is the, the range of leadership styles. This was something we identified in the 2013 report and it's been echoed again in the 2015 report, that there are many different uh, leadership uh, styles, many different leadership approaches, and we saw evidence of a number of them across uh, both reports, actually. So that, that range of styles hasn't changed. That, it's important that, that companies adopt the styles that suit their organisational context. And that takes me on to the second point, really, that the, the leadership style that you use has to be organisationally fit. It has to fit the cultural context of your organisation. So you can't just go to a leadership handbook and pick a style that you think suits you as an individual. It must suit the context of the company. And then finally, uh, I think in leadership, something else that really stood out in this report was the growing importance of trust leadership, linked really to a growing use of technology and the idea that people really don't need to be tied to a desk nine to five. People increasingly are able to work remotely and, and flexibly. So we're seeing greater use of flexible hours, greater use of trust uh, for, with those employees. The key thing being, can they hit their deadlines whenever those key deadlines are without being too concerned about where they are on a day-to-day -day or hour-by-hour -hour basis? Thank you.